always been some state, there have always been some offices that had no Republican file. Because of candidate recruitment, um, we actually had a full slate of delegates, which means no matter where you were in Greenville County, you had a Republican to vote for. But most importantly, as an attorney, I actually read the election codes and I understood how the candidate filing process worked. And 100% of the candidates in Greenville County made it on to the ballot that year. 100%. Again, I tell you this so that you have a basic level of faith in the managerial skills that I have because I think that's step one. Step two, we're going to talk about the real finances of this party. Okay? Because I assume Chad Connolly spoke here earlier today because I've been kind of trailing behind him. They always set me right behind him. And he talks about raising more money than any other chairman. I'm here to tell you that's just baloney. This is the equipment. Here's the true finances. In January of this year, we borrowed $340,000. We took out a loan for $340,000, and we put up as collateral our party headquarters in Columbia. Wow. Let's put this in perspective. When Karen Floyd left office just two years ago, we were completely debt free. Every vendor had been paid. And if you remember, due to the generosity of Roger Milliken and a bunch of other people who had done fundraising effort, the debt on the building had been completely paid. And if you were at the state convention, there was actually a part of the state convention in which we celebrated the fact that we became debt free. We now have a $340,000 loan that was just taken out by Chad Connolly because we are literally on the verge of fiscal collapse. Last year, we got a $1 million government bailout from the taxpayers. Most people forget about this. Governor Nikki Haley vetoed the legislation. Chad Connolly was telling us that our doors would literally shut and we would not be able to run our primaries unless the government gave us $1 million. Now, how many of you feel good about Solyndra getting a $1 million? How many of you feel good about the TARP banks getting billions of dollars? My question for you is this, is it morally correct for us to get a million dollars of taxpayer money to keep operational? I think the answer to that is no. And it is one of the moments when I have honestly been ashamed that our party is functioning the way it did. I would never accept the government bailout. If you remember, Nikki Haley vetoed it. It got overridden by the legislature because Chad Connolly threatened to shut down our primary if we didn't get it. I'm at a stop. There's a lot about saving our primary. This is what I'm going to say in 20 seconds about saving our primary. Okay? 113 Republicans were left off the primary ballot because of a mistake that Chad Connolly made. No chairman in 30 years had made the mistake that he made. The Supreme Court said it was entirely his fault, and yet he will not take responsibility for it. We need to save our primary. We need to save our primary from the managerial decisions of Chad Connolly. I'm Samuel Harms. I'm asking for your vote. We need to have a robust discussion of how this party has been run for the last two years. Thank you. And again, I ask for your vote.